My story from Degenerate to Poker Pro. I was a 19-year-old restaurant worker in 2013 with about 10k in savings. I felt like a slave and wanted a way out of this minimum wage grind. I liked poker as a kid and always wanted to try playing for money. I became addicted to online poker and lost all of that 10k within a few months, playing 0 .25, 0.50 and 0 .50.1. Then another 15k over the course of about two years. I was a complete lag whale. My favorite play was to 3b jam if someone raised my flop C bets. I had no concept of position or ranges. Q90 was a RFI from any position and a cold call from any position. I had no clue what playing in flow was. Essentially the donk bet was named after me. 3 bing was my shit. Triple barreling was very common for me. Hero calling with a high made me feel cool. I would deposit $100 at a time. Before I blew through my savings I would deposit 4-5 to five times a day most days. Soon I had no money. I would live paycheck to paycheck, barely managing to pay my expenses before I would dump the rest into my online account. I would normally lose it within an hour. I wouldn't eat for days sometimes because I spent food money on a punt. I was already depressed before, and this kicked it into overdrive. At the end of my losses I was seriously considering suicide, but thankfully instead I called the suicide prevention hotline. I ended up being taken against my will to a psychiatric hospital. Fun tidbit, the doctor was telling me you can't make money playing poker because there's no skill in it. I argued with him and said he didn't know anything about poker and to look it up. He came back the next time and admitted it's possible. I did a lot of soul searching during this time and was trying to decide between cutting my losses or continuing to play. I was confident that I had what it took to win. I had a background in esports and chess and always became good at whatever I devoted my time to. Poker is different because of the gambling aspect. I felt like a different person. Nothing has ever made me feel more out of control of my mind and body. I would be screaming in my head not to play anymore as I was entering my credit card info onto the site for the hundredth time. Every time I blew my paycheck I would say this was the last time. Then I would get another paycheck and do it again. All signs point to me being a gambling addict and conventional wisdom is what you should do is quit and get help. Maybe it was stubbornness, confidence, or maybe it was just the evil addiction. I chose to keep playing. I wanted to make it work more than anything I have ever wanted before or since. So I got to work. No more 0 .25, 0 0.50. I started at 0 .02, 0 .05 with $100. And no more messing around and making degenerate plays. From now on I was going to make decisions based on EV, I didn't even know what EV was at this point. I was going to be committed to learning and improving. Soon $100 turned to 200 then 200 into 500, then 500 into 1k, then 1k became 4k, then 7k. In about a year, I turned $100 into 7k, grinding from 0 0.02, 0 0.05 to one half online. I had a 7bb, 100 sample over about IIRC 150k to 200k hands. I can't even express how liberating this was for me. I went from wanting to die to having the most confidence I have ever had. Although I had not made back all that I had lost, I developed an extremely valuable skill that I knew I was going to use to make as much money as possible. At this moment, my family, who I had been living with since I left the hospital, had enough of poker playing and enabling my gambling addiction. I can't blame them honestly. They don't understand poker tracker graphs and a year ago they would have been correct to think of me as a degenerate gambler. I admit, I hated them for a long time and cut off all contact. I had to grow and mature and learn to see their side and forgive them. I was originally planning to keep grinding online, but on the advice of some buddies I decided to take a shot at my local one-third game. I couldn't believe how soft it was. I was not even a very good regular online player at this point, but here I was the best player in the field. I turned $700 into 10 k within about a month. I switched to in the flesh, face-to-face, -face, playing full-time. I got on a plane to Vegas within a few months. I struggled at two-fifths in Vegas for a couple years, mostly making enough to cover expenses but not boost my role. Depression came back because of this. I lost the majority of my role starting with poker losses, and then not having the will to put in volume. So I did some studying and realized I had lots of leaks. I was bluffing too much and my pre-flop ranges were too loose. I couldn't find the fold button in spots where they always have the nuts. Stuff like that.
I wanted a new environment after being in Vegas for two years, and I realized Vegas games aren't the best. So I traveled. At the start of that year, I only had 5k to my name. I played 70 hours per week for 2.5 months straight. I was planning on suicide if I lost that 5k. I think that's why I haven't been able to replicate that volume since. I was literally playing poker for my life. I profited 30k in that 2.5 months from one third, a $5,500 tournament score on the first live MTT bullet I ever fired, and some occasional two-fifths PLO shots. There was only one third NL and two-fifths PLO in the city I was in, a bit degenerate in hindsight now that I know more about PLO BRM. The rest of the year, I played two-fifths NL. I netted 100k that year. I played five-tenths all of 2019. I have done okay. Variants kicked my ass but I have still won about 80k thanks to a $36,000 tournament score on the second MTT bullet I ever fired. Not kidding, I won both of the first two live tournaments I played. Plus 40k for the year is not great for 5 tenths, but not the worst I'm sure. Today I have about $250,000 in live earnings. I have made 10x what I initially lost. I don't want my story to be used as fuel for any gambling addicts out there, as I realize it might be. I got extremely lucky by meeting multiple good poker players at the right time who coached me for free. I could have never done it without them. They saw my intense drive and wanted to help. I owe them everything. I also ran good at just the right times. That's not to say I didn't work hard, but I got lucky too. I am happy today and thankful I am not getting destroyed by the system in the same way 99% of my friends are. I have a wife. My depression is still there, but a quiet nuisance, not an immovable anchor. But, poker is a brutal game and wears on me psychologically. I often worry I will not be able to stay sane forever. I also fear for the future of poker as solvers become more prevalent and games dry up. I would change nothing. My suffering and struggle has made me a better person and brought me to where I am.